The number of confirmed cases and deaths continue to rise in Minnesota and Wisconsin. It's part of the reason that Governor Walz is extending the stay-at-home order. As Esme Murphy reports, it's a decision the governor strongly defended today. Governor Tim Walz paid tribute to those who have lost their lives to COVID-19. Nothing more than any of us would want to do is to get back to normal as soon as possible, but uh, we can't let wishful thinking drive us. While the governor updated the state during an hour-long conference call, Republican Senate Majority Leader Paul Gazelka tweeted his opposition to the extension of the governor's stay-at-home order. Senator Gazelka also accused the governor on Twitter of erroneously planning for what Gazelka labeled a New York-style surge. Governor Walls fired back. I hope that I am as wrong as can be about the needs on those beds, but all of the data shows me that I cannot risk that at this time. The governor says with the peak hospitalizations under his modeling not expected until mid-July, he hopes those who disagree with his stay-at-home order will still follow the precautions. I would hope that just because they don't support it, that they honor uh, the desire. They do not put themselves or others at risk against what we know and that we continue to work together. Governor Walls acknowledged that some other models do show the peak happening here much earlier. In fact, one model shows the peak happening at the end of this month. But Governor Walls says he is following the advice of top local and national experts, as well as local health care providers and hospitals. At the WCCO Capitol Office, Esme Murphy, WCCO 4 News. The governor says tonight the 35W Bridge and other landmarks will be lit up in blue as part of a worldwide effort to say thank you to health care workers on the front lines.